Now that we've become more proficient with writing mass media with ChatGPT, let's try a challenging but highly rewarding category, writing for mailing lists. Individuals whose emails we've obtained and added to our mailing list tend to be very valuable, as sending a call to action to a mailing list is much better than simply a cold call and can result in a highly profitable venture. Let's start with the simplest possible prompt. Write a message to my mailing list about our 50% off sale. So we'll notice a few things about ChatGPT's reply. Firstly, given little to work with, it's just made a ton of stuff up. Tech gadgets, home decor, beauty, we don't sell any of this stuff. In addition, it's needed to put placeholders throughout, including start date, end date, and our company's name and contact information. So let's write our prompt in a more sophisticated manner. Task, write a message to our mailing list. Variables, company name, we'll just make up a company, WW Window Washers. Contact info, 555-555-5555. Website URL, www.windowwasherprofessionals.ca. Store address, 123 Fake Street. How about now? So now it's hallucinating, but hallucinating different stuff. It's made up a 15% discount on our first window cleaning, which actually sounds like a good deal, and has made up a coupon code. We don't want it making up coupon codes that don't exist, since our clients will be unhappy to learn that their coupon code won't work. When we have fields like this, we can often simply provide the values that should be in the fields, and without any additional prompting, ChatGPT will rewrite our mailer. Contact info, the phone number, my name, Obadiah window, and let's see what happens. Will it correct those values? So not bad, a little progress. It's still hallucinating the code and it hasn't correctly gotten our website URL. Let's try combining everything into one big prompt. So we'll copy this task, write a message to our mailing list. We'll add the variables, my name, Obadiah window. And we'll add some more important details to the task. Write a mailing list message to our mailing list. The topic is on a 50% discount for window washing this week. Do not make up any additional promotions or offers. We'll also add instructions on the tone. Tone, professional, and friendly. Let's also add some guidance on the length of the message. Length, about 400 words. Or that's a little long, let's make 250. We'll let it use some emojis. Use as many as one emoji per paragraph. And let's see what it comes up with. It's still hallucinating a discount code, so let's update the instructions to let it know clearly we don't want it to make up any discount codes. Do not make up any discount codes. And we'll put that at the end too, just to remind it. Remember, don't make anything up. Often ChatGPT will make stuff up, so when we don't give it enough information to fill the amount of space, so we have to give it more information. So let's write some background about the company background about company. And if you're doing this a lot, you can keep this background about the company in a text file and refer to it as often as you want. So we'll say 50 years in business, serves the Washington state, 
friendly prompt service, accredited by National Window Washing Association. President Zebediah window. And we'll also add some information about our customers. About target customers. 60 to 80 years old. Homeowners. And they like honest plain language. Now that ChatGPT has more to work with, we can expect fewer hallucinations. Excellent. So here, right in the middle where it was making stuff up, now it's using the information we gave it. Our president, Zebediah Window, and our accredited team by the National Window Washing Association. It has also included a few brief emojis that are quite cool. It still has some placeholders, so let's try once again to stamp these out. End date, December 31st, contact info equals 555. 555 5555. Five, 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 five. Notice how I've put the contact info here in this kind of techno y um, syntax. ChatGPT, like all computers, prefers things that look like code to things that look like human speech. So the closer we can get our instructions to the way ChatGPT will eventually have it in memory, the less effort it needs to do to process them. And that worked with the difficult to stamp out content placeholder now replaced with the correct value. Excellent. Now we have a pretty good mailer, but we're still missing one thing, the call to action. So let's just add call to action. Call our headquarters today. Interesting. It sort of interpreted that instruction as write a new mailer. So let's combine the call to action with our original prompt. Let's soak up all this information, actually. So we'll copy our best prompt so far. We'll add the call to action. We'll add the additional variables. And now let's see what ChatGPT does with all our instructions all in one long prompt. Excellent. We now have a high quality message with no placeholders, the correct number, and a friendly, informal tone. In the last clip, we worked for quite some time to develop instructions that would make ChatGPT produce this mailing list letter, or a mailer as I like to call it, in a manner that met our high quality needs. Now we'll learn how to use the information that we've given it to create mailing list items again and again. To complete this video, you should watch the previous video first while where we make this mailer and these prompts. These are the prompts we came up with. Let's review them. So to write a good prompt for a mailer, we have to provide our task, the tone, the length, call to action, background about the company, about target customers, and various variables that it may need to fill in that are unique to our own company. After all, we're the only company with the phone number 555-555-555-555. But look at the prompt carefully. How much of this prompt is actually related to the specific topic of this mailer, which is a 50% discount? only the very first line. All the other lines are completely reusable and we can tag those as potential prompts for all of our mailers. Let's try to create a mailer about a completely different topic. We'll copy all this and we'll go to a new chat and I'll make this one with GPT-4 since GPT-4 is so much fun to use. So let's create a mailer about something completely different, but use the same prompt. Task, write the message for our mailing list. The topic is a webinar 
hosted by Obadiah Window, where he provides valuable window washing tips. And we'll modify the call to action, even though you could call our headquarters. We'll say, sign up for the webinar. And let's add another variable. We'll call it webinar sign up link. And we'll just make this an email, like a shortener. Or I would say ir.o, io slash www. Now let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. And voila, a mailer on a completely different topic. There are a few hiccups. It has failed to connect this contact info to this contact info, even though we put it in the exact same case. Very unfortunate. And also, it has confused the end date with the webinar date. So let's change a few things about our prompts. Now we have contact info twice, but I just can't remember the contact info. And we'll change end date to webinar. Actually, we'll get rid of that as a variable and just put it in the task. The webinar is on June 1st. And let's try to beat the contact info. Let's say, remember, the contact info is in the variables above. Oh, very nice. It's even high, it's even formatted our URLs as a URL. So this is sign up for the webinar. And it goes to the, it's a hyperlink that goes to the URL we suggested. Very cool. It also says it's adjusted the spelling of our name because it thinks its version of our spelling is better. It just won't fill in the contact info, but we can do that by hand. So you can see how we can reuse these prompts to make multiple different mailers. Let's try a third mailer on a completely different topic. We'll open a new GPT. We'll do GPT-3 this time. Now let's copy these prompts in, but we'll modify the task. The topic is to notify readers that the June 1st webinar is canceled. The reason for the cancellation is that Mr. Window had to take a trip to the jungle. We'll modify the call to action to none. And we'll keep all these other this other information the same. Let's see ChatGPT generate a brand new mailer. Outstanding. By using the techniques we just learned intelligently, you can not only create mailers very easily, but you can save repeated efforts and every mailer you create after the first one can be created with an even greater degree of ease.